name's Liz. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it if you uh, like my videos, give them a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, today's video, um, I'm going to be talking about, uh, well, basically the cost of living and the rising prices uh, of things. And I've started keeping a log of everything. So I get till receipts for everything. Every time I spend money, I get a till receipt. And I've been logging um, it into a spreadsheet, which I've got off Excel, and I'll show you now. So I'd, hopefully you can see this. So what I've done is I've listed like fast food. So basically, if we decide to, to get it, um, not as such as a takeaway, but if we go to somewhere like McDonald's whilst we're out. Groceries, that covers all, all all groceries from all stores, clothes and household. Uh, it's more on the household side. Um, so that could be like buying your shampoos and everything for the bathroom or everything for the kitchen cleaning. Uh, bakery and coffee shops. And then how much I've spent uh, on diesel. And uh, this is for the month. So this is, sorry, this is the month of June's. So I've just listed um what the item actually is here uh what the store is that i've been so you can see boys is heron little Couplands, tesco's little again tesco's jb motors um primark wilco b and m uh costa max and spencers and yeah so then this category um is the drop down which is these across the top um and put them in there just put the quantity one i don't know why um if you put anything different i then put the date don't bother with the unit price and uh if i can zoom in a bit for you then you can see the the prices that i've paid so this then tallies up so the grand total so far in june i've spent that amount of money on these um, um, bear with me, then you can see I've spent that amount of money on these um, different, what should I call it, categories basically. And I can see where you know the the bulk of the money. Obviously, the bulk of the money is going on on groceries um, and uh, household to some extent. I don't travel as far with my car, so um, diesel I haven't mu used much this uh, this month. And now that I've moved closer to family, before when I was living in Manchester, I was coming every month prior to lockdown, um, prior to the pandemic. I mean, and uh, so obviously my fuel was more costly. Also, fast food was more costly because it was so much more convenient to to get a takeaway if you didn't fancy cooking or just fancied a takeaway for the for the hell of it basically um but where i live now there is no takeaway places the nearest one is a few miles away and they charge ridiculous amounts of money to actually deliver to you like six pound to deliver so we don't since we've been here we don't tend to have well we haven't had a a deliver a, a takeaway delivered at all um this would be if we've We've gone to McDonald's or something whilst we've been out. Um, so that's one of the things that I've been doing. So another thing I've been doing um, using a Excel spreadsheet is a personal survival budget, basically. And it details your average monthly income minus all your costs and expenses and tells you really what you have left over. Um, so this is like the money that I've got coming in from various fields and uh, this is how much uh, net it would be and then this if we scroll up because I just don't want to show you where everything comes from um, so this is then my expenditure so my rent utilities phone TV license well TV license is zero uh, it wasn't well, it, it isn't at the minute. Um, it should actually have a 13 in there. But it will be zero because I've got my mum moving in. Um, and 
because of her age, she gets a free TV license. So it saves me £13. <laughs> <laughs> so then um, roughly I've got grocery shopping. This is based on estimates. Um, and so then this gives you this figure here, which is how much you've got going out. And then it gives you what you've got spare, um, which... I know it doesn't look good, but it hasn't got my uh, self-employed stuff in at the minute. So basically it's just showing what I've got coming in and go straight back out, which I would think is for a lot of people, if not more. And so it is helpful to keep track. And you obviously if you go in and you can reduce things once things are paid off or whatever, and then this figure here will change if you have um, extra income coming in and say, for example, uh, that changes to that for this month. It will then change it here. And so then it gives you well, that's how much extra you have left over after you've paid uh, all your bills. Um, I well, basically, we're a family that tend to to live hand to mouth. Um, that's just how it how it actually is. Yeah, so as I was saying, we, we tend to to live hand to mouth. Um, that's, just, that's just the way it is. A, um, I think I've said in previous um, vlogs, I'm a single parent. I've got three children at home. They're now teenagers, um, but school-aged teenagers and um so yeah um there has been a, there was affluent time for a short period of time before i met my kid's father um and it was just me and my eldest and um, we used to go on holidays we used to be able to go on two three times no i think we did just two two three times abroad anyway in a year uh which was very short-lived because <laughs> when I met him, never had a bean since, literally. I have not had anything since. And it is frustrating. It really is. And I'm sure I'm not the only person. I'm sure there's a lot of people watching this that can relate, basically. Um, so, yeah, there are just a couple of things that I've been doing um, just recently over the last couple of months. Just to keep an eye of where my money's going and because I can't cut my cloth any more than I'm cutting it <laughs> I'm like it is cut um, we're now practically on a postage stamp that's how much I've cut my cloth um, so yeah one day one day I'll be able to afford that foreign holiday again um, <laughs> I took my kids for the first time on holiday back in 2018 uh, because my younger three have never been abroad and uh, we've never been had the money to go since. And um, the only time I could afford it was because I was getting student finance at the time from being at uh, uni and doing a degree. Otherwise, we would have never have got. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that have not been on holiday for a good few years. Uh, prior to that, I hadn't been on holiday since... I married the dad, which was back in 2004, 2005. Well, 2004 flew out, out, out to him, 2005. I got married. So, um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> if it's giving you an idea just to keep a, a track of what you've got coming in, going out kind of thing. Um, I found these on Excel. Just Google them. There's plenty of uh, free uh, templates to use online. And uh, just keep track of of your money. You'd be surprised um, what you see of like little things that you can cut that you didn't think were anything, but it saved you a few pennies here and there. So I've just added this bit. Um, you'll see a receipt that I got from I can't remember what it's called. It's cash cash collector or something like that. Um, generally, it's these machines that you see in supermarkets. Um, and uh, maybe it would help if I took that out, I could hear myself. <laughs> um, you see in supermarkets and you can pour your twos and ones, uh, well, basically you're changing. And it gives you, a well, you can redeem it to charity 
or you can redeem it as a voucher for yourself uh, to use in the store. So I popped down to my local Morrisons with the twos and ones, um, basically because we had dinner for today, but we don't have any um, anything for tomorrow. And um, so, yeah, so I needed to pop out and get some some bits um, just to tide us over till I do shopping on Monday. Um, so in the um, what I picked up, um, it will show you I got some milk, I got some clover um, spreadable. I think they're the only two things that are actual brand. The rest of it is Morrison's own. So I've got Morrison's own southern fried chicken, um, breast, breaded breast, whatever it is. Because um, I already had the chips. So we'll have that um, either today or tomorrow. Um, then I got some biscuits for something sweet because there is the the three of us, or oh, four of us, there's three kids and me. So the four of us, so I got them um, as, you know, just have something sweet. It's just the cheap range. I think the uh, custard creams are 38 pence and the uh, cookie type things were 46, I believe. Then we got their branded uh, crisps, 85 pence for a pack of six. Um, what else did I get? Oh, the, the chicken things were one ninety nine. Um, the six pinter of milk was two pound thirty, I believe. Uh, the clover was on for one seventy five. Oh, we got some cheese, uh, just the um, s uh, sliced cheese, which is one thirty nine, I think. Oh, I don't know why I'm struggling. I've got the receipt here. Um, let's see. The Savers Coffee, <laughs> 99p. I did not expect great things from that because it was 99p. And if anybody has ever bought cheap coffee before, you will know it is diabolical. Let me tell you, this is my second cup of coffee and it tastes no different than Kenko. It looks like Nescafe when you pour it out. Maybe not as dark as Nescafe, but to me, it doesn't taste any different from Kenko. So that is something I will be buying in the future because for 99p for a, a, a jar, you cannot complain. Uh, the cat didn't have any food, so I got it a tin of tuna, 55 pence. And oh, I've got a super toasty bread, bread loaf for 75p. That is really good for toasting. It really is um, because it's so thick. And some diet lemonade for 26 pence. So all in all, it came to £12.08. Um, so I'll just hold that. All my receipts look like they need a good iron. So you'll see on there, hopefully... The where it says the cash converter, I got seven pounds seven, uh, just down here, and then I had five pound uh, in my bank account. Well, five pound and a penny in my bank account. So all in all, that little shop came to twelve pound eight that you're going to see, and I don't think that's actually bad. And it just shows if you have to that you can uh, budget, basically. <laughs> basically. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd share that with you. And so I've tagged it on the end of, of this video, seeing as I was talking about budgeting, etc. So uh, don't forget, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next uh, vlog. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.